and gentlemen, welcome to another Loot Crate here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we're looking at Loot, Anime, and Crunchyroll for the month of... August? No, this is still September Crate. This is September! Right, what we got inside this one. Oh, oh I like the design of this. we of course got a t-shirt in the top, so we're taking it out to the line! How's it going guys? What's the crack of me? It's good to see you again. Welcome back to another Loot Crate here on Pastiche of Skin. <sighs> He's well? He feeling good? Is it? How's life? Is everything well with you? Because I'm feeling great. Because I've got more crates. Crates are good! Crates are fun! Let's take a look to see what's inside of this one. So, what have we got here? Ooh! Am I familiar with this show? I am not, but it reminds me a while lot of... Like a... a <laughs> it reminds me a lot of an actual, like, webcomic that I used to read. But it was like, um... Was it Vampire Cheerleaders Must Die? Or was Eerie Cuties or something like that? I can't remember. It was like... It definitely was one of the... Hiveworks comics, you can check them out. I'll put a wee link to the Hiveworks guys there because they're fucking amazing. <laughs> a lot of cool comics and a lot of fun entertainment reads. So, Twin Star, Star Exorcists. That looks like a couple of characters from that, but Twin Stars Exorcists, what do you think? What do you think of the design? Actually, we'll get the, do the good old fashioned whoop. There we go. You can actually see it properly in full screen, I suppose, rather than actually be having half the screen covered by a box. But what do you think of that? Um, I like this, I like the white. And red usage. I mean, essentially the whole thing is white and red, with a little bit of gradient in to make the grayish kind of like because it's just cross hatching. Like that's that's been a standard design of anime for years. But yeah, that's kind of cool. This is actually a Crunchyroll themed or yeah, Crunchyroll uh, designed shirt. Which is all right. I don't mind them doing the designs. Uh, but, uh, size is actually about right. It doesn't feel overly sized. Just looking to see if there's anything particularly about the details in it. No, no, it's just Bioworld is the name of the company that actually made the shirts or made the design prints and all on them. The weight of it feels wintry, I'll say that. It doesn't feel like heavy heavy, but it's actually, it doesn't feel like a, you're translucent. You're not going to look through that one too hard. It's actually like, the design is actually pretty big enough as well to kind of cover the fact that you'd be able to see through it. But the stitching is reasonably nicely done. The collars are well kept. Yeah. You double stitch across on those. That's actually looking pretty nice. It's a nice shirt. I, I like the design on this one. This one's actually like, a, it's typical black shirts. You give me a black shirt, I'll wear it. In fact, you know what? I don't really like the black shirt I'm wearing. So we'll put a black shirt on the black shirt. So we can black shirt while we black shirt. Oh, right. Oh, that's feeling a bit more appropriate. I think Lord of the Rings wasn't exactly appropriate for an anime create anyway. So this works better. I like the design. It actually, it looks even good in camera. It goes well with my, my facade. I like it, good color tones. It's well matching, you know? We're going for a design look. All right, what we got left inside the breast of the box to take a look at? We have um, Bleach, yeah, Ichigo, and Ichigo Watch. All right, let's take a look and see what kind of one there is inside it. Um, it's this is gonna be a cheap kind of like Chinese bar purchase watch with theming from the show, I'm sure. Oh, come on, open. I'm thinking we thought it was actually one of those ones that you slid it out, but it's actually a wee pop lid here. There we go. And then you slide it out. Da, 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 da. Ooh. Yeah, it's a fairly cheap watch, but that's actually not too bad. That's actually pretty nice. I like the design in that one. So it's actually Ichigo with his uh, crazy face on. Um, the shadow, it's, it's the, the hollow. Are they call them hollow or shadows? Shadows or hollows? Well, it's actually a hollow mask, uh, Ichigo, uh, looking angry and badass at the same time. I like the strap. I'm really glad the strap isn't a plastic strap. Um, Fabric felt kind of thing. Yeah, I think it, that I think it is plastic, but it's actually just like it's kind of covered over. You know, just by the flexibility and stiffness of it. Let's see if it actually even fits on my wrist. Oh, so stiff, so stiff. Yeah, yeah, that's actually not too bad. It actually fits on my wrist, even though it's on the like it's <laughs> it's on its farthest set and to actually be able to get around it. But yeah, um, I like the actual chain design on it. Um, the watch itself seems to actually have a pretty nice. Feel to it. It doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't feel weighty. It's fairly light. I like the wee chain design. It's obviously one of those uh, the che cheapish style of watches that you can pick up from most online stores. Um, this particularly who is it? It's Infinity Fan is the name of the company that are in New York that make this one. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Basic water resistance, all that kind of crack. Um, this is the kind of stuff that I see sold at cons a lot. Uh, that I would never have picked up my for myself. I wouldn't buy accessories like this. From a con store, you know, because I would be able to source them back, well, except for the, to the actual like people who manufactured it. This isn't bad. Um, I don't, I don't think it's massively worth a lot, but um, it's comfortable. It's decent enough to wear. 
Oh, I wouldn't be embarrassed to wear this, especially with the just kind of the shape and the style to it. <coughs> and the strap is a um, nice color, red and black. I'm, I'm essentially red and black, and I'm two toning the shit out of this today. You know what? Let's see what else is in there. See if there's anything else that I should be able to match up my outfit. Yeah, it's not exactly any more clothing in here. But instead, we have some manga. One Punch Man, Volume One. Yeah, I'm looking forward to reading that. Oh, it would help if I put it the right way around. One Punch Man, Volume One. Yep, 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 yep. I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, I the original One Punch Man, like the uh, the original kind of like sketchy drawn version, was uh, was funny back in the day. And then I've of course watched a bit of the show, so I'm looking forward to actually reading this. It'll give me a little bit more depth and knowledge of it. One Punch Man is a series that uh, I I took a, I enjoyed it for comedy, but I don't know. I then never knew that the manga really was taken that seriously or anything. So. I'm appreciative of getting volume one of this, but I've seen a lot of complaints about people going like, why are they giving volume one of things? I was like, because most people don't have volume one if they haven't read it. If you're a fan of a series like One Punch Man, you kind of want to know beforehand whether or not this was going to be coming in the box, but like that's the point, it's a blind box. <laughs> if, it was, if you're that big of a fan of One Punch Man and you had two copies of volume one of the book, do you know what you do with a second copy? You give it to somebody who's never fucking seen One Punch Man. It makes more sense. I've bought 14 copies of Watchmen over the last 12 years. And I keep giving them out to people. I pick it up, I reread it again, and I hand it on to the person next to me, and then I never see that fucking book again. That is the purpose. Like, the, the lending library. No, like the whole idea of going, like, oh, I don't want this! And like, don't complain about what you get whenever it's actually already... You already knew what the theme was. You already knew what the, uh, the actual, like, genre was going to be. You didn't assume that the t-shirt was going to be One Punch Man, or it was going to be a cape, or it was actually going to be a shaving kit, I don't know, whatever the fuck you thought it was going to be. But honestly, if a, a copy of the manga is one of the nicer things you could have got. I mean, no matter what, even if you actually have read it yourself, millions of times, sometimes it's actually like, ah, oh, cool, and you flick through it again. You, Yoshiwari Pedal, was it? They did a t-shirt and they did a volume one at the same time. And that was great, but I was never ever going to wear that t-shirt. But the book, I enjoyed the hell out of it and immediately handed it to a, a friend of mine that was in the second but never read manga or anime and got them hooked onto it. And immediately they were actually buying the rest of the series so I could read them after they got finished with them because that's how this kind of thing works. You spread the love of one thing and then that's how fandoms grow. You know, that's what the purpose behind it is. So, what is it for this one? It is Loot Anime Phone Charm. Yep. It's a half mask. Yep. Yeah, oh. Yeah. I can get that, that's pretty fine. I mean, essentially, it was, was Bleach meant to be like the central theme on this one? With the mask? Is, is that what it, mm. Whatever it is, it's a pretty nice charm. It's a pretty nice little phone charm. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of tempted to actually gather all these anime phone charms because I can't put them in all on my phone at the same time and just make them into like a neck chain, like a necklace that just has all of them. Like almost like a, you know, like a charm bracelet, but for necks kind of thing. Uh, that's what I'm tempted to do with it next uh, because I've been building these up and I'm not doing anything with them other than because like, I, I don't put them on my phone because they get torn up and if I put them for my belt they would get ripped off so I might do it around my neck and then it might last a bit longer at least I've got a full collection of these now yeah. so what else have we got something from Tokyo Ghoul the last thing I saw from Tokyo Ghoul was shot glasses they were good uh, they broke within two or three minutes of me opening the box, finishing the video, sitting down to have a shot of something in them, and I flicked a beer cap at it and shattered the glass. <laughs> I said it, I think I talked about that in the last video. But yeah, this is, what are these? Are these standees? Are these standing figures? They seem to be some sort of chain figure hanger thingies. All right, I'm assuming these are either meant to be like door hangs or whatever, but is that plastic or glass? They're plastic. They're printed on the plastic with um, characters from Twiggle Wheel. Sorry guys, it's just a series that I don't know. Uh, it, uh, I assume the eyes have something to do with powers and the guy with the mask is a bit fucked up and they all have like spirit demons that they use inside them. Uh, it's a series that I know very little about. Just watch the trailer there and you'll be able to get a general idea. I'm sure I've brought it up. I've shown the trailer before in other episodes because that's the reason why I was able to easily pull this together but it's just a show that doesn't interest me. It's, it, it looks too much like I'm looking, like just, just by looking at those two characters, it looks like I'm looking at Naruto dressed up as uh, Kakashi and um, Hinata dressed up as Sasuke. You, you know, that's, that's that, like whenever I look at those characters, 
That's what I see. I see two uh, composites of two different things. I'm sure character-wise are uh, completely different than that, but it's just too close visually for me to even care. Because uh, I'm already I'm done with Naruto completely. Like I've, I, I even attempted to try and catch up lately and just went, no, 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 no. I like the uh, Infinite Tsukumi, grand, I skip all of those and get on to the rest of the show. And I still was like, oh, God damn it. Can, can, we, can we just... God damn, finish this. And then, of course, the end. And, like, I'm, I'm, would I be spoiling anybody by telling them what, what happens at the end rather than actually, like, how he wins or whatever else? But to to, tr- to essentially take Shippuden and end it the same way that fucking Naruto ended. It's me- meant to be cyclical, and it's the reason why they kind of, like, tied in, or the whole ending seemed to be so tied in to, like, lifetimes and cycles and over and over again. Fuck right off. I'm just, I was just done. I was just done. Don't care about that show. I'm glad it's over. I'm glad. I'm glad there'll be a whole bunch of people going like, "Where's Boruto starting?" <laughs> so, of course, we got our poster for the month. I love that. That looks cool. I like that. I like it a lot. That's pretty damn cool. I like the fact that it's the broken face mask in the top, fighting the monster, essentially ruling the monster at the end. <sighs> that's that's pretty badass. A big fan. Big fan. Big fan, the, I'm a big fan of the guy who works for um, either Crunchyroll or for Luke Crate who does the designs of these. I want to know more about him. I want to actually, I really want an interview with him um, online and information. So I, if he's doing a comic of any sort or doing a style guide or doing covers for someone, I want to actually be able to look him up and see more. That's just, just because I, I've seen enough of the art now, just periodically from the monthly creates, that I'm now intrigued. I want to see more of his stuff. So of course, this month's create was Demi Human. I'm not quite more human than a human man. Um, One Punch Man manga volume one was our first thing. Tokyo Ghoul and Standy Keychain set. So you can either use them as a keychain or a standy. It's keychain probably hanging them from your bags and stuff. Twin Star Access t-shirt, which I'm wearing. Looks good. The Bleach Watch, which is yeah, pretty nice. Zangetsu Sword is one of the hands. Oh! Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize that one of the hands in this is actually the black Zangetsu Sword. That's a nice touch. Yeah, the, this watch went up in my estimation there, just for that, just for that little thing. It's like, someone's stupid, but it's actually like, yeah, I, I, I like that. That's a nice wee touch. I'll be looking at that now. <laughs> is, it, is it the minute arm? Yeah. Or is it the second? I think it's the second arm that's actually the, um, is that Getsu? That's, that's very smart. Uh, so the Demi-Human Phone Charm, of course, embrace your dark side with a Demi-Human Phone Charm in the shape of Yume's broken Kitsune mask. Yeah, she's a broken Kitsune. Ah, uh, man. As always, these posters get put aside for whenever I ever have a chance to gallerize them around the walls of the location. But um, I'll do that whenever you guys get to see it because I mean, essentially, uh, they, as it is now, it's blank walls. The intention was to actually use them as green screen spaces, but now I've just got so much stuff to put up on them. I might as well paper the place with it. Well, not paper it, but to frame them, put them up so they're nice in a nice wee framing cabinet. <laughs> so yeah, guys, this has been the Loot Army for the month of August, uh, Demi Human. <sighs> Um, um, t-shirts alright I'm actually happy with the t-shirt it's a good t-shirt but uh, I kind of hope the t-shirts are going to be good every single month uh, because it's a song that we standardly know to get every single time uh, One Punch Man the manga on board with that I've seen a lot of people complain about it already and uh, I'm not happy about that because I, I'm one of those people who will happily take a manga volume of anything in any of these boxes I would love if they decided to maybe start doing not just like volume ones but do you know like those compla- do you know, like maybe an older series that is relevant to the theme, but is actually in those collected kind of like not just a normal tankabon, but actually like collected volumes one through three kind of things. Um, I think yeah, it, well, the one that popped it into my head was whenever they did the mecha theme, and I was going like, oh, man, that would have been a really interesting one to do, like a three part box or like a three volume collector's edition book of Evangelion along with that would be that would be a nice touch. Especially for a lot of people. Because that's the thing. Like, a whole generation don't bloody know that damn show. I was trying to explain what Gundam was to a bunch of kids earlier on. They were like, you know, giant robots. What? You mean like Pacific Rim? I was like, yeah, just like Pacific Rim, but like better. <laughs> you you, 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 you want to watch them? <laughs> like, I've got plenty of them. I've got plenty of these giant robots. Ah, uh, giant robots are boring. What? Are you insane? What's wrong with you children? <laughs> All right. So the Demi Human, of course, box looks like a nice, desolated, destroyed city street with... A lot of destruction all around. I'm sure it would actually show a figure if there was a figure inside the box. Again, figures, statues. Like, I know size is an issue and price is an issue, but 
come on, I do miss having statuettes. I do miss having figures. Can we get something that's actually posable and nice in design that we could put on our shelves? Say, for example, someone that might go well for a photo competition. You know, those kind of things that you do try and push everybody into every single crate. Do something like that for us, guys. Please. Just please. And please watch more of these videos. Uh, the, this I, I've been thinking of chatting in the last video about the fact that there's going to be a bit of a change to the amount of crates that I'll be doing over the next year. I'm going to be dropping some, picking up others, maybe. We don't know. This, uh, this unboxing series might change from being just loot crate to being all a bunch of unboxings. Or it might actually become a like a product testing kind of video series. The kind of like the way Derm Discovers kind of is. This is um, Loot Anime for the month of August. It's been demi-human. I'm feeling quite a bit less human after the last couple of weeks that I've had. So um, I hope you guys come back to see the channel in the future. Remember, if you are watching the video, if you got this far in the video, there's no reason not to hit the like button. If there's any reason not to hit the like button, it would have been in the minutes before this whenever I got angry about things you didn't care about. At this point now, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to tell somebody else about this show. Share it with them so they can see it if there's something that you liked in it. And please do interact. Do like Talk to me. To ask me questions. Ask me questions about the shows that I didn't see. Why I immediately am so dismissive of Tokyo Ghoul. Why I don't like Naruto anymore in any way, shape, or form. I didn't love the show, but I am think my maturity-wise, my body, my mind is done with 500 episode shows ever of any sort the entire idea of a show that just goes on for that long just naturally infuriates me so i, I won't even watch goddamn south park or family guy or simpsons anymore just because it's like it's a persistent kind of like con every it's going to be more it's going to keep they're, they won't stop if you keep watching them, they'll keep making them so that's how i felt about naruto and one of the reasons why i stopped but um, yeah, if any other questions that you have about uh, anime that's been shown in this show or referenced in this show or ones that you would actually like, opinions that you have about the loot crates that I haven't expressed, make sure to put them in the comments underneath this video or in the comments inside whatever thread you found this video in. Make sure to share it, like, comment, subscribe, and all the many other things. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye-bye. Mm,